All right. Hello, students and staff. Um, I just want to give you some information about Skip a Final. It's coming up. We are very, very excited about this program, and uh, we are beginning to run uh, some preliminary uh, data for this program, and we're very excited. We have a ton of students who are going to be eligible. So, uh, congratulations in advance, and thank you for your participation. All right. So, Skip a Final. Let me just get down to some nuts and bolts here. Um, first of all, just a reminder, to be eligible, you have to have at least a B average in the class for both the first and the second nine weeks. Secondly, you cannot have more than three absences, and uh, you cannot have any major discipline referrals. So if you had a uh, referral for a cell phone or something like that, that's not going to make you ineligible, but major disciplinary referrals would. Um, and also, if you have questions about this after I'm done, in case I forget to say it, uh, if you have questions, concerns, you get left off the list and you feel like you should be on it, you can always come talk to me, uh, talk to Mr. Hadley, probably talk to me, and we'll find out why you are eligible or ineligible or, or answer your questions however we can. So, uh, how is this going to work? Uh, I am working on the data, as I just said, um, and you will receive a form. If you are eligible, you will receive a form no later than Wednesday of next week. Hopefully earlier, hopefully you'll get it Monday, but no later than Wednesday. It will be your responsibility, students, to take that form uh, to the teacher of the final that you want to skip or that you are eligible to skip, okay? So that's pretty much in the form that, that you're going to receive is pretty self-explanatory. There's some things that you have to do, some signatures that you have to get, and there's a part of the form that you're going to need to keep for your records, but the form's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, again, if you have questions, you can come talk to me. Now, um, if let's just say that you get the eligibility form and you're like, hey, I think I'm good to go. Now I can miss a few days of school. That answer is no. Once you receive the form, your eligibility can still be uh, changed. It can be revoked if you, you know, miss days even after you receive the form. So still keep up the good attendance. And the same would be true for discipline. If you had a major discipline infraction um, after you received the form, then your eligibility could be revoked. Other than that, we, we are very excited about this program. Uh, Mr. Hadley and I, the teachers, the staff have been talking greatly, you know, a bunch about this program. We're excited. We have a lot of students who are going to benefit from this, and we hope that you're one of them. Thank you.